So from a real-time perspective, there are, there's a lot of movement from workloads from the data centers over to the edge. And um, basically, you know, if you think about robotics use cases, there is a lot of industrial size machines that control robotics, that control different, um, you know, visual checking of, of produced goods. And these, these computers represent a huge workload. And from an Intel perspective, um, we see the demand one side on the edge and on the other side to really leverage the existing compute power. And um, from, from the Intel side, we have built a set of innovation into the chips, starting with 11th generation um, core CPUs. Um, and we've introduced a set of very dedicated real-time features that are not working simply um, only out of the silicon, they will need a software component. And based on the long-standing partnership with Canonical that we have, um, where we have just recently released a set of IoT images together that are optimized for Intel Silicon, it was just a very natural step for us to partner with Canonical here and do joint work on real time and get that to market together as well. And to add to that, at Canonical, we are part of a rich and vibrant community. So we partner with the ecosystem from OEMs to ODMs to the silicon vendors and the hardware manufacturers so that we can offer out-of-the-box solutions for our end users. And this does two things. On the one hand, it accelerates the time to market, but it also is shortened the time to value for the consumers, for the device consumer. So essentially, it comes down to the leading distro for developers, Ubuntu, joining forces with the leading silicon manufacturer, Intel, to be, all, to be able to offer a combined solution that works out of the box for the, our end users.